Yeah, guys, what's up? <clears throat> um, if you're looking at the gauge, don't let this confuse you. If you're used to a regular vacuum gauge like on a Vacuum Pro, you know, you, use, you see MPA on here. That's just, you know, a, just like the KPA. You see the minus 0.1, that's the same as minus 100 KPA. And then Tor, that's just millimeters of mercury. HG is mercury on the periodic table. Um, this is millimeters versus you're used to seeing inches. 760 millimeters is 30 inches. When you see, you know, 30 HG, that's 760 mmHg. So, same thing. We're at a negative 760 Tor. Gauge says a little bit further, you know, we go by microns, whatever. But pump is sealed off. That's why the pump's not on right now. If I open that, it would be, you know, open to the pump and then I can degas up here or I mean um, deflate it also it overshot a little bit I had my door open had it really cold in here I was fucking with the batch that was really sappy you know but uh, actually that's what will make it overshoot a little bit if it's colder around outside the room then I went and closed my door and opened up that door where the house is let all the air in from the hot you know from my house so it warmed back up in here and then it ended up overshooting about two degrees on the PV. But here's what the video is about. This is a batch that I actually fucked up on. I ran it on Monday. Today's um, almost it's about 11 p.m. on f uh, Friday night. So yeah, it was, it's been in the oven for a few days. I actually, it started to auto butter on me, so then I conglomerated it all to make it into wax. It was a batch that I didn't do wax at. I was making some, you know, lower grade oil, just, you know, maximum yield for to make some cheaper oil. So um, didn't do wax or anything. I just blasted it in the Pyrex and then scraped it up. And actually I purged in the Pyrex in here for about 22 hours before I scraped it. And that's where it started auto buttering. So then I scraped it to make it into wax and it's kind of funny, it was right after um, Jameson had talked about having trouble with getting wax in the vacuum oven. And um, I had never tried to make wax in the oven but one time and I did it fine. But now that I do it, what I do is I just will put the, a slab down there on the very bottom and it gets, you know, about 20 degrees warmer than the slabs on the racks and it'll auto butter that way. So, um, or make over shatter, whatever, I like that name, over shatter. It describes what's happening you know during the purge or whatever but anyhow it was buttering up looking like slop and it wasn't like stable butter and it just looked like shit so what I ended up doing is deciding to throw it in a Pyrex and then I added another um, it ended up being about seven or eight cans total but I had to add a whole bunch of cans to it to redissolve it and it took a long time to dissolve because the first thing the butane does is freezes it so it dissolves it like layer by layer as opposed to, you know, when you're blasting through a tube, you have, it's separated so much, like every trichome is so far apart that you have way more surface area as opposed to a thick slab in a uh, Pyrex. You know, you're only getting the area on the top, which is not much for all of that resin and oil. So, yep, it took a while to dissolve. But uh, once it dissolved, I went ahead and did my de-waxing process. People ask me, am I going to do a video on that and all that? No. You know, the thing is, I was going to. I love making how-to videos and all that. I've got a lot of reasons not to now. You know, one being, hell, it's something I change a lot, and I'm still trying to perfect. It's something, I mean, I don't get me wrong. I'm not hiding any information. It's all on my Facebook page. Um, if you go on my Facebook page, you'll see it. You just have to do a little bit of research, What you should have to do. If you're someone that wants to de-wax, it's not something that should just be easy like that to do. It's something that's quite dangerous. It's not like winterizing with alcohol where you're inside and stuff where alcohol is less volatile. Whereas butane becomes a gas at room temperature quite easily and the gas is what ignites. So, yeah. You know, um, I talk about it quite a bit. So, it's not something that I think is so important that everybody needs to be doing. It's it's more like if you're, you know, you've at, reached your peak at what you can do and you're just trying to go a little bit further. It's not like, 
you know I'm trying to get good at making oil and I'm making it a little bit and I want to try something new already no man it's once you've perfected what you're doing then you're trying to look for something new and uh, once you've perfected what you're doing my, in my opinion you pretty much know how to work with gases safely you, you know you can't be a halfwit you can't be a halfwit and do it and the thing is people will be learning what it is by watching it in a video most of the people that will watch it wouldn't even know what the fuck's going on once they figure out what's going on they'll think it's the next thing they got to do and they'll fucking burn their face off and I'll be feeling bad and whatever so also I get enough questions about it and I try to answer as much as I can when I've got time and you know you got to really be motivated to want to keep repeating yourself over and over and over and if I know more than anybody, when you make a how-to video, all that does is creates more questions than, and the answers the questions for a lot of people, but it creates more for so many more people. And t to be honest with you, I, I have to live my life, you know, I can't, I like helping people, don't get me wrong, but it gets old when it's over and over and over the same thing, when I have it written down. You know, I see why Subcool always says Google it, because he has information that's out there, and it's free. It's there. It's written down multiple places. So, yeah, I don't mean to sound like a smart ass, but it does. Somebody asked you how to brush your teeth over and over and over and over, and you had to keep going into detail over and over and over. It gets kind of annoying. No offense to anybody. I'm happy you guys are trying to per perfect your process. I'm about out of tape here, so just wanted to say that. Wanted to show this purge. Uh, 